North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has overseen a field trial of domestically produced kamikaze drones, state media reported. Kim stressed that the country needs to soon move from prototyping to full-scale production to be able to incorporate large-scale use of unmanned aircraft into its military doctrine. The news agency KCNA added, The agency published photos showing Kim and two other senior officials observing what it claimed was the deployment of several unmanned aircraft, images of which were blurred. The prototypes tested were developed by a research facility associated with North Korea's unmanned aerial technology complex. The report said, Boosters are used for the launch of the weapons while engineers are exploring various types of airframes with one model apparently designed with four wings in a cross configuration, according to the report. North Korean drones were designed for both ground and naval warfare, having different ranges and employ some form of homing after reaching the end of their programmable path, the KCNA claimed. According to the KCNA, the drones reportedly flew along various routes and struck targets with precision. Images from the report showed what appeared to be a BMW sedan being destroyed and older tank models blown up, highlighting the drone's capabilities. Kim expressed satisfaction with the weapons development process and stressed the need to build a serial production system as early as possible and go into full-scale mass production, noting how drones are becoming crucial in modern warfare. According to KCNA, Kim highlighted that drones are inexpensive and straightforward to produce, making them suitable for various military applications. The report did not specify whether Kim directly mentioned South Korea. It is expected that North Korea will then supply Russia with kamikaze drones. These drones will also be used against Ukraine. Russia is also helping North Korea in the development of such drones. In October 2024, North Korea accused South Korea of deploying drones to disperse anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets over Pyongyang, warning of potential forceful retaliation if such actions were repeated. South Korea's military neither confirmed nor denied these allegations. Tensions in the region have escalated while Kim showcases advancements in North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. These developments include nuclear-capable weapons and intercontinental ballistic missiles with the potential to reach the U.S. mainland. Сейчас покажу, что нахуй от него, блядь, осталось. Выгорело нахуй, все. Деревьев нету совсем нихуя. Ебнул пакет полный. Просто пиздец. Блядь, нянь, что, блядь, осталось. Ебаный в рот. Лес густой был, блядь. Это пиздос. Ебать, до сих пор все слеет нахуй. Ебать, нянь, деревья поповалило какие. Ебать, тулюсь он нахуй. Нянь. Пакет въебал. Пиздец. Вот что осталось от моего града, блядь. Глянь, ёб стволы повалило нахуй тут ебать. Помаху им сдул. Ёбаный в рот. Так нахуй, блядь, и работаем. Ёбаный в рот. Пиздец, нихуя после слеса не осталось. Ёбаный в рот. Вон ямка, глянь, какая. Вон, мост, нахуй. Зарытый, блядь. А вот от БМК что осталось. Кусок, нахуй. Ёпта. Пиздец. Ебало, вон, раскиданы мосты. Если вот кусок металлолома, нахуй. Вторая еще дымится стоит. Отъебнула тоже. Но пакет не сдетонировал нихуя. Вся посечена, нахуй. Вот так вот. Лесополки нет нихуя. Э? Ёбнешься. Яма знатная. There has been a clear cooling of relations between Beijing and Pyongyang. China has frozen cargo deliveries to North Korea, which has begun to move closer to Russia. The Daily NK publication writes about this. Since the end of October 2024, the port of Dangong in northern China has stopped processing trade requests from North Korea. Experts are sure that this is Beijing's response to Pyongyang's turn towards Moscow. Previously, when North Korean traders from China sent goods to the DPRK, they declared them 
at Chinese Customs as personal belongings and easily received permission to ship. Chinese Customs officials did not open or inspect such cargo, so the North Koreans had no problem shipping electronic goods and luxury items that are under sanctions. However, since the end of last month, Chinese Customs authorities have stopped issuing permits for the movement of items declared as personal belongings, the article says. In addition, North Korean officials who are on a business trip to China have encountered inconveniences. Chinese Customs refuses to allow them to move personal belongings across the border. For example, an employee of the North Korean Ministry of Physical Culture and Sports was not allowed to take a TV, an electric blanket, and a refrigerator with him to the DPRK. Labeling a shipment of goods as personal items for moving was a reliable way to pass through Chinese customs, which is why the current situation has come as such a shock to the North Korean traders and officials. Daily NK writes, The DPRK suspects that Beijing is thus expressing its displeasure over Pyongyang's rapprochement with Moscow. The two countries recently signed a strategic cooperation agreement. Moreover, the DPRK even sent a 10,000-strong military group to the Russian Federation as military aid. It is currently participating in the Russian offensive in the Kursk region. China is gradually tightening its grip on trade as its relations with North Korea become increasingly strained, the article says.